Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the Trader Joe's haul. We sent our sister all the way to New York on a mission to find us the best Trader Joe's yep. treats and she did not disappoint. She delivered the goods and part one was fantastic. If you haven't checked that out, we'll leave a link up there. She got us a phenomenal selection and we loved so much of it. Yeah, if you did go out and get any of the items, if you're lucky enough to live near a Trader Joe's, let us know down below what you thought of the items. Or if you'd like to try some British treats, we'll leave a link to our website down below. We package our own boxes throughout the month and we have a monthly subscription as well. So if you want to check that out, leave a link down below. We have one same Savory item and I'm super excited. I'm more excited about this savory than the last really? savory. Yeah, I love it. It's in this box. It looks really old fashioned as well, yeah. doesn't it? We've got Trader Joe's organic garlic naan crackers. Not garlic bread, garlic, garlic naan. naan. Sound yum, don't they? Yeah. You've got a whole box of them. Inspired by the flavors and functionality of naan, these organic crackers are just the thing for scooping up your favorite dip, topping with your favorite cheese, or serving alongside your favorite soup. Each crispy naan shaped cracker is seasoned with garlic, herbs, and salt, making them a perfect fusion of flatbread and savory snacks. And they are naan shaped, aren't they? It was obviously probably set up, but what always cracks me up when I come across it online is when there's like this text thread and basically the family's ordering, like having an Indian that night and the mum has text one of the kids saying, oh, will you pick up Nan on the way over? <laughs> and they they pick up the grandma, the Nan, but she meant Nan, yeah. not Nan. <laughs> These are bigger than I was expecting yeah. actually. You know how they usually say enlarge to show size, mm. but I actually think these are bigger. I love how it says serving suggestion. We've just put them in a bowl. What does it mean? Or is that meaning roughly how many to have as a serving? Well, I don't think so, because it says serving size is 10 crackers. Oh, just the serving suggestion. Put a them bowl. in a bowl. Oh, never oh. thought of that, Trader Joe's. I love how they say naan crackers, but like really, that's got nothing to do with the naan. Well, it's the shape of a naan. Mm. It's slightly flavoured like naan. Yeah, they're quite cloggy when you have a couple mm. though, aren't they? Not gonna lie, I think I was expecting more from that, mm. from Trader Joe's. I always thought the non garlicky non flavour would be more. Well, if you think about the lentil onion rings we yeah. had, they were so much more punchy mm. and they were meant to be more like of a healthy snack, weren't yeah. they? I just feel like with that, you could have gone so much more on the buttery, garlic, yeah. herby spice. Yeah, I'd get them again, but they would have to be accompanied with something else. And if you could do a little bit of cream cheese, a little bit of mango chutney. Mmm. Really well, what's nice, that actually. coconutty stuff that you get in Indian? Rita, right, right. Yeah, if I was having like a bit of a get together, some people over a few nibbles and that. Yeah, to put something on it, it's nice. If you had a curry that yeah. was quite a liquid curry, you could probably put it on and have like a bit of a crunch. Well, like croutons. Like they say with soup. Yeah. You can have it with a curry, but more yeah. of a liquid curry. Why not? Um, what are you giving them out of 10? I'm going to give them a seven. They're I'll good, just, but yeah. they're just, I'll just know, give them a seven standard fare. What's next? Chocolate bark? No, that's boring. Key, boring? Yeah. So exciting. Key lime pie tea yes. cookies. Key lime pie. I love the box. Look, serving suggestion again. Are they giving us suggestions on how well, to serve it? put them in a bowl? Yeah, with a napkin underneath, some limes. Yeah, well, maybe that makes sense in that photo, but in this photo, you literally can't see anything else. No. You can see some kind of dip, but you can't even see, oh, a sprig of coriander. coriander. So these are Trader Joe's key lime tea cookies, shortbread cookies with powdered sugar. No matter where you are now, Take comfort in knowing that it's tea time somewhere. Mm. Take even more comfort in Trader Joe's Key Lime Pie Tea Cookies. The manifestation of all that is sweet, tart, crunchy, crumbly, and delicious. Enjoy them at tea time or any time. Be sure to enjoy them with a napkin handy. Trust us on this. Really, it's quite crumbly. Quite you, crumbly. Funny how, because we know Key Lime Pie, yeah. you added a pie there. Did I? There's no nah. pie. I like this box. They're not exactly what they look like. They're and I think fishing. they're flatter than I thought, but they smell just like key lime pie. It's front, they look really powdered, Powdery, but yeah. it's not really a powder, is it? No, it's cheers. Like, it's like white chocolate. Unless they've just been, it's been crushed, like in travel. Maybe. Wow. Mm. That outer is tart. Woo! I'm telling you. Mmm. I didn't get that straight away. Tart, crunchy, crumbly, and delicious. Mmm. That is literally oh. key lime. Yeah. Cookies. It's exactly the, what the it says. The cookie in the middle is just a cookie, isn't it? But that outside gives you like a liquid, fresh mm -hmm. kind of flavour. It must be. That's intense. 
as it mixes with your saliva. Mm, comes to life. Mm. If you like the key lime pie flavour, mm. you'll love them. They're tart, they're tangy, wow. they're sweet. They really get like your taste buds going. Yeah. I wonder if they ever did that with like um, lemon meringue pie. I feel like they could use the same No, like they've bread. got the buttons, the lemon. Oh, yeah. They could do that flavour on these. Because mm. we've had the tea cookies before, haven't we? We had the ube. ube. I like the ube mm. ones, however you say it. I think these are nicer though. Tart I, think I did really enjoy them. Mm. I don't think I've ever had a shortbread like that. The fact that it has a tart, tangy powder on top. Usually the powder's just icing sugar. Yeah. They've put all the flavour into the icing sugar, which is really nice, actually. I love that. They're a nine out it's of ten. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It says about enjoying them with the cup of tea, but for me, in some ways, they're too powerful for a cup yeah, of tea. Yeah, I don't think I'd want a cup of tea with that. I think no. they're their own thing. Yeah. With a glass of nice cold water. I feel like they should get a ten out of ten, but because key lime's not my favourite flavour, I'm just going to give them, like, an eight. When I hear, like, key lime pie, it never, like, interests me. Like, oh, I particularly want to try that. Yeah. But that, I love. It was really good. The freshness and I the wish we could have tried key oh, lime pie for you Al, in Florida. My turn! <laughs> Marshmallows! You do know they're dark chocolate covered. I know. Right? I just love this box. Yeah, Trader nice, Yo's it? dark chocolate covered marshmallows, light and fluffy marshmallows drenched in smooth dark chocolate. I wonder if they've gone above and beyond and done like jam filled ones or something. Tender soft French marshmallow are dipped in just the right amount of dark chocolate. Great for snacking. Yummy and hot chocolate. Mm, good call. Perfect between graham crackers for a cold s'more. Don't try roasting on a stick. Because obviously the... <laughs> Yeah, the chocolate just melt. I, I wonder love if you could this. do a sneaky little 10 second in the microwave and then and, the graham cracker. And put them together, I yeah. think so. You're not getting the roasting, but at least it'll be squishy. Exactly. Like, and the chocolate will melt slightly. It's like space food. Like a silver. Silver. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder how big they are. I know. I'm thinking kind of small. I think medium. Oh, they're the cutest size ever. Oh, that's sweet. There's loads in there. Yeah, good amount. When you got the bag out, I thought... There's not many in there. Yeah, and it's 200 grams, but like if you look in there, that's loads. Oh, wow. That's so rich and So lovely. were these new? Yeah. Did they have milk ones? No. They unless, do a lot of dark unless chocolate, Unless the don't dark they? ones were the new thing and they already had milk. The mix of the lovely, light, soft marshmallow and the dark it's chocolate. It's a perfect marshmallow, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Not too chewy but got a bite and mm. like a, a resistance to it that's delicious yeah, the dark chocolate is probably a bit too dark for me i kind of think it has to be dark chocolate though to make them decadent and Otherwise also be a bit... it could be too sweet but mm. i just can't go over how many you get although yeah. then again i can't remember how much they were did you actually like that way more than you were expecting no i thought i was going to like them loads mm -hmm. but they were very different from what I was expecting. I didn't think they were going to be like that French marshmallow. I thought oh. there was just going to be like more of a normal marshmallow. Yeah. A bit more like homey. But I should have known from the box that they were going to be like really refined. Yes, really nice. so good. Really, really lovely. I just think if it was milk, it would be better for me. I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10. I think they're incredible. And I like things where you can't eat too much of it. Yeah. Like. A couple, a couple of, those, of those and then I'm done and I'm feeling really good. I definitely about, like, also a feel really nice experience. If you put a graham cracker on the plate yeah. and then two of those. Yeah. And then in the microwave for ten seconds, then the melted chocolate will melt onto yeah. the gram. It'll just soften. Incredible, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm gonna give it a nine and then I think if it was milk it'd be ten. Crispy peanut butter filled milk chocolate peanuts. Yep. I'm really intrigued about mm. these. I think they're literally just like chocolate filled with peanut butter. Yeah. Shaped like peanuts. I love this little cartoon. Peanut shaped milk chocolate filled with peanut butter and crispy oh, rice. Crispy rice. Nice. Also, do you know what I find funny is these look like, do you remember? I think they were called circus peanuts. Do you remember those oh, orange things? Familiar, yeah. That were like foamy, like foam bananas. Yeah. But circus peanuts were orange and they were just like for the fair or something. I feel like it's the exact shape of that. Maybe they use the same mould. Yeah. How will the peanut butter be? I wonder if it's the same as the peanut butter in the in the dip. Whoa. Well, it says crunchy, doesn't it? It's like it? 3D, but obviously they have to have a mould somewhere. We've held up pretty nicely. I want to see you bite into one. Okay. Oh, soft. Oh. Mm. The pieces in the middle. Oh wow, they are soft though. Mmm. Peanut butter is so salty and lovely, isn't it? Crispy it's not rice. as smooth as the peanut butter in this, is yeah. it? But it's still nice. 
Nice with the crunchy pieces. Yeah, again, really red. The they're only quite ones. small, so the crunchy pieces are nice, but not it's like not too many. There's not no. many. Oh, they're rich. The chocolate's really like melty straight yeah. away. Oh, that's quite a nice chocolate with that. Yeah. And the aftertaste is giving me the, the peanut butter M&M's. I see what you it's mean, It's like yeah. that amount of saltiness yeah. as a peanut butter M&M. That's I, better um, than Hershey's. And they're so much richer than I thought they were going to be. I feel like peanut butter chocolate is very like down to earth. That, and also, there's something about that that's so rich and lovely. Even though it's milk chocolate, it seems very rich. I also feel like if you look at that, I'm not saying it looks cheap, but like the fact that you've got a bag of them, yeah. but like each one I feel like could be a truffle in like a shop window. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Each of those are so decadent. I wouldn't be able to eat many of those. Like they're so rich, aren't they? It's my turn to choose. So the bark's coming at the end. Uh, okay, fine. So there's a new so flavor. Because I was like, are you sure we haven't had the pineapple ones? But we haven't. We've had orange orange, and watermelon. watermelon. And now these are pineapple. Pineapple is getting a lot more love these days, isn't it? Yeah, definitely see more pineapple everywhere. Dark chocolate again, but I feel like with these jelly things you need it. Be. Pineapple flavoured with other natural flavours sticks. Soft and chewy centre dipped in dark chocolate. Turn it back over. Yeah, it's <laughs> meant to say dark chocolate pineapple sticks. Yeah, but it, wouldn't you put the flavour with other natural flavours underneath? Because it like yeah. really disrupts the name, It does. It? I just love the colour yeah. and like the bags. Like they've all been the exact same, haven't they? Yeah. Can you still get the other ones? Yeah, I believe so. They must do well. It almost smells like a liqueur. Mm. I love the way that shell just cracked. We've got a lovely jelly inside. Mm. I'm going to take some chocolate off so I can taste it just on its own. The texture of that. That's what's so phenomenal about these, is it's the texture. Mm. It's not the texture you expect at all. It's like a jelly, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. Maybe we should put some of these in the freezer. Oh, the flavour of that pineapple is really nice, yeah. isn't it? And again, it's like a really chill pineapple. It's not like a sharp, no. hit you in the face pineapple. It's not been too done. Like, mm. it definitely does just taste more like an aftertaste of pineapple. It's yeah. really lovely. It doesn't taste fake. It tastes really delicious. I really love that. Delicious. What are you giving those? I think I'm going to have to give them a 10 out of 10. Mm. If I remember correctly, if I was to put them in order, I think it would be the orange, because just that orange and dark chocolate just works so well. Yeah. And then I'm saying pineapple, and then I'm saying watermelon. Those orange ones. I think the phenomenal. orange ones are top for me, because yeah, me dark chocolate orange is just a classic combination. I reckon watermelon, then those. Really? Yeah, I really quite enjoyed the watermelons. Yeah. Okay, here we go then. Finally, my moment in the sun. Oh, it's solid, Al. That's it. On solid piece of bark. Combining the rich full flavours of dark chocolate with the resounding crunch of roasted almonds and pretzel pieces, then finishing with a sprinkle of sea salt. This is a satisfyingly snackable bark and one that's well worth every bite. You don't like the sound of that? I really had himself in mind for this one. No, I thought you'd like it. Can you it. get that big piece out? You, yeah. I'm sorry. You can't tell me you saw that and thought I would love that. Whoa. Oh, you wouldn't expect it to be that big. No, that thick. one's bigger. Well, you get a good amount. Yeah, loads. This is how many grams? That seems way more than 284 grams. Yeah, that's enough. The salty pretzel is just so good with the dark chocolate. Oh, it's a bit down. Incredible. I've got Thingy out of retirement. David Tennant. David Tennant. It's a bit down. Do you love that? He's not that? retired. No, retired from this channel. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah, what's not to love? Dark chocolate, that almonds. Like, I'm just there in heaven, loving that. I'd like to weigh that. I feel like that's more than 284 grams. I doubt they're gonna give you more than they tell you. I oh, know, just seems way more. I suppose if you think about it, like a Cadbury's big bar is usually only 110 grams and that's, that's over, like over double that. That's over a that. quarter of a kilogram. Yeah, a Kilogram is a decent amount. I know, they're not gonna give you more than it says. It's so is... strong. This is weird though, it says one serving is about 30 grams, about uh, two, two pieces. pieces. That's why I'm surprised. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> that's why that's I'm surprised at the size. I feel like that's usually a lot like smaller in there. Maybe you know they I mean? expect it to break up on the way. Maybe. They put it like in bigger chunks and they just think on the way it'll get it'll broken get up broke. a bit more. But let's face it, most of the time it does get bashed, doesn't yeah. it? So what do you think to that then, Al? <laughs> it's incredible. I think it might be a 12 out of 10. No! It's so rich and decadent and salty. It's just 
It's everything that I love. No, I'm sorry, that's not a 12 out of 10. That's <laughs> like a, a four. <laughs> you can't say that. That's not, you're lying to the people. I'm not lying. Lie I'm telling people. you the truth. He's lying. You're just to trying me. to create drama. No. Am I the drama? You're the drama. No, I'm not the drama. It's so good. Am I the drama? A five, six, seven. Treat of the week. Well, I don't even need to ask what yours is. Although you say that. It's not your treat. It is. But until <laughs> that, I was actually going to pick these. Ah. Although I gave these a nine and I gave the marshmallows a 10. We've said before, treat of the week isn't it's necessarily just always, the highest scoring. Yep. It's something that you don't expect. Something that you really think, oh, they're really amazing. Stand out. It was going to be these mm. until these killed me with dark, salty, pretzely chocolate. That's just incredible. Um, I'm a bit stuck. I think it might have to be these. Really? Are my treat of the week. Is that because everything was dark and peanutty? Everything here is dark. So dark, <laughs> dark, dark, peanut. Lime. Lime. No, but they're different. Your nan. Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going these. Okay. You know, like when you do like a little gift bag for someone, something like that, I feel like I could just go in there with yeah. it. That's what's yeah, nice like about nice Trader hamper. Joe's. I feel like if you're doing a little hamper. Yeah, their products put... look good in a hamper. Yeah. Mm. And they actually look like giftable. Like yeah. that looks giftable. Like even these look giftable. Oh, I really enjoyed that though. Yeah, me even too. Even though it was quite dark chalk heavy. Yeah. <laughs> next time Holly goes, I'll be sorting the list out. But I was also working off what was new. <laughs> And this is all the stuff Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got on the website and <laughs> okay, see everything else look. that's new. White chalky this, white chalky that. Honestly, sweetness. there was no white chocolate anything. <laughs> well, if you would like to try some lovely British milk chocolate, yeah. we have loads on our website at we the do, moment. Yeah. We'll leave a link down below. Not only do we have our subscription boxes that happen monthly and our one off boxes, we have also mm. got loads of individual items. Yeah, we've got Capri's. Milk chocolate, we've got Cadbury's Marvelous Creations, we've got Cadbury's Whole Nut, we've got loads of different stuff. Yeah, so if you want to check those out, definitely click the link down below. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.